Now that we have completed the uh, detailed uh, extraocular examination, this would be a good time to check intraocular pressure. Intraocular pressure uh, is uh, pretty important in the horse. Uh, to diagnose low intraocular pressure, uh, which would be seen secondary to uveitis, which is a common uh, disorder in horses. We do see glaucoma in the horse, but not with the frequency that we do in our small animal patients. Glaucoma in the horse is very rarely a primary disorder like it is in the dog and in the human being. Rather, glaucoma, elevated pressure in the eye, is usually due uh, to chronic changes in the eye associated with uveitis or moon blindness, equine recurrent uveitis. So the way that you're going to measure an intraocular pressure is with an automated instrument. So here we have the Tonovet Plus made by Eye Care in Finland, uh, distributed in the United States by uh, Jorvet. Uh, this uh, instrument works on the principle of a uh, magnetized pin with a plastic tip that is actually shot from the instrument and touches the eye and then rebounds back into the instrument. If you think of the principle of dropping a golf ball on concrete, the golf ball will decelerate when it hits the hard surface and then it will bounce. If you did the same golf ball drop on a pillow, it would decelerate much slower and it would not bounce. And so this is, this is the technology basically of a rebound tonometer, which is the eye care instrument. So basically, turn the instrument on you take off the little protective cover here. We need to make sure that this is set up for the horse, which we have it set up for the equine. This particular instrument is calibrated for four species, the horse, the dog, the cat, and rabbits. Uh, so here we've got the, we've got the horse setting. Uh, when we activate this, it will tell us that you need to load the instrument. And so this is where we're gonna load these little pins that come in separately wrapped sterile containers. So here we have the, the little container here. I'm going to take the top off. I'm basically just going to drop this in. And you can probably just barely see the little tip here. So now that we have loaded the pin into the instrument, notice the light on the tip. The green light indicates that the pin is parallel to the ground. Since this is a a principle of deceleration and rebounding back into the instrument. If the instrument is tilted up, you can see that the red light comes on telling you that you're not in the right position in the right plane. Or if it is tilted down, you're either working with or against gravity, which actually alters your readings and makes your readings inaccurate. So when the uh, pin is parallel to the ground, the tip will tell you that you're in the right position and, and you have a green position. I'm now going to take the pressure in the eye. We have a blocked lid, so we're not going to be putting any excessive pressure on the globe. If you had a patient that you did not have a blocked lid and they were very blepharospastic or squinty-eyed, you might have to block the lid so that you wouldn't put excessive pressure on the globe. So there's a little button on the back here. This is the activator button that you push, and this will uh, every time I push the button, it will shoot the pin and it will touch the cornea and it will bounce back. Because this is so small and so light, we do not have to use topical anesthetic. Most patients do not feel this and are very unresponsive to this. So I get my light to where it's green. So I, basically the instrument has taken each reading. Every time it got a reading, there was a beep signifying that indeed it had taken a, a measurement. Usually it takes six readings and it averages them. It throws out the high reading, the low reading, and then it averages the, the, uh, the rest of the readings. And you can see that we have a pressure of 19 millimeters of mercury. In addition to being able to take individual readings every time I push the button, the activation button, uh, the iCare Tonovet Plus instrument has an additional mode where you can push the button, hold it down, and it will automatically shoot the pin out six times and take readings. So basically we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to gently raise her lid. I'm going to get in position here. And 
And so the, basically uh, what we've done there, instead of individually pushing the button, uh, the instrument did this for me, uh, which allowed me to hold my hand steady and concentrate on being steady. We see that we've got the same pressure, uh, 19 millimeters mercury, that we had when we did it individually. There are a number of things that can alter intraocular pressure in the horse. Um, decreased intraocular pressure is usually secondary to inflammation in the eye. Uh, so horses that have equine recurrent uveitis or have uveitis associated with some sort of surface ocular irritation, a corneal ulcer, a corneal foreign body, stromal abscess, whatever, these horses, their intraocular pressures sometimes can be less than 10. And so this is one of the things now that we have the capability of, uh, of, of uh, surgically and medically treating equine recurrent uveitis that we haven't had in the past. Early diagnosis with tonometry and intraocular pressure uh, support of a diagnosis is very, very important. Position of the head. A patient that uh, has their head down will basically have an elevated intraocular pressure just like your intraocular pressure would be elevated if you stood on your head. An additional uh, abnormality that could cause uh, 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 decreased intraocular pressure would be sedation. Any drug that lowers the blood pressure, whether it's an alpha-2 agonist, ace promazine, any of those drugs, torfenol, all the drugs we talked about before, can erroneously uh, cause a lower intraocular pressure than what might be the case. In the horse, glaucoma, as we said before, is very uncommon. Uh, the horse does not experience primary glaucoma as is commonly seen in dogs and in human beings. Uh, intraocular pressure uh, in the horse is, is fairly volatile. Uh, if you excite a horse, uh, if I jerked Ella around here and got her really good and excited, I could elevate her intraocular pressure anywhere from five to maybe as much as 10 millimeters mercury just with that excitement. Um, <clears throat> glaucoma in the horse is usually secondary to equine recurrent uveitis uh, and scarring of the filtration angle. And the pressures uh, sometimes can be in the 30s, 40s, even 50 millimeters uh, uh, of mercury uh, or, or above. And the problem with equine uh, glaucoma is that it does the pressure doesn't always go up and stay up. Uh, if you've checked their pressures five times during the course of the day, they may be normal twice uh, during that time, and the other three readings could be 50, and that's just the nature of the beast in horses.